Are you tired of reviews that are comprehensive and helpful in determining what gear you might want to spend your hard-earned money on next? Then this video is for you. This is an experiment the likes of which the world has never seen before. We are going into a dark world where the oxygen is thin and strange creatures devour unsuspecting prey without hesitation. We're going to capture the sound of a betta fish eating a food pellet utilizing the Rode VideoMic NTG. Within the last month, I picked up the Rode VideoMic NTG, and it has met all of my expectations and then some. As someone who just wants a few pieces of dependable, grab-and-go, great performing gear for my kit, I am blown away by the value and efficiency this mic has brought to my workflow. In addition to filming videos like this one, I need a straightforward setup to capture supplemental video and audio content when on set filming 360 video or panoramic photos for immersive content and virtual tours. There are specialty mics I use for ambisonic capture in 360, but you still need to capture stereo sound for samples, talking head videos, and narration. The example you're about to see was recorded on my Sony A6500. I turned the record level down to one and the video mic NTG to about 12. I'm still working on the perfect combination for different applications, but what I am trying to do is follow the recommendation of using the microphone itself as much as possible while turning down the preamp on my Sony A6500. So of course, as soon as I got this microphone, I wanted to go around and film some content as daily use cases and experiments so I can get more familiar with how it pairs with my A6500. Indoors and out, it has produced very usable audio in nearly every case and at varying distances from the camera. I do like the windshield that came with the VideoMic NTG, if for no reason other than it protects the mic from bumps and bruises when you're setting it down or you have it uh, attached to your camera even in normal use. Outside I did pick up some wind noise and here's an example real quick. So this is just a test for the normal audio uh, volume when you're speaking, just normal speaking voice out here in the exterior. Nice to not have a bunch of walls and ceilings bouncing the sound back to me. Am I filling the entire frame? Uh, no. So downtown, it's all set to autofocus on here. I'm tempted to think that when I go like this, point, it's gonna automatically focus downtown. When I come back in here, Sony's amazing autofocus will focus right back on my face. So it's probably useful to pick up one of these fuzzy windscreens that I just happened to realize I had from one of my video micros I've had for a couple years. If you don't have one of these from a previous purchase, they do sell an OEM version of this on Rode's website for the video mic NTG. This is Dumbledore. Every morning I wake up to a very hungry fish. About a month and a half ago, we swapped from flakes and went with these pellets. He's a fish who knows what he likes. And every time I hear him take a bite of one of these pellets, I can't help but notice an audible crunch when he's actually chewing on the pellet. There's no question in my mind that this is the most ridiculous use of this microphone I can think of, and yet, so intriguing, curiosity's gotten the best of me, and I really want to know, can this mic pick up that nearly inaudible sound of Dumbledore eating his food? Well, this was a fun video to make, and I hope that you had a lot of fun watching it. 
fantastic little microphone and a fun way to just show off some of its capabilities, even if it's not a direct real world application. If you like hearing about this kind of equipment and gear and uh, overall techniques to create unique content for 360 production as well as virtual tours, then subscribe to the channel, give this video a like as it definitely helps us out, and I'll see you on the next one.